Hi, this is Andy from Orbit Media. I want to show you an interesting use case for AI and marketing, and it's all about personas and audience research. Marketing is a giant test of empathy, and by aligning your marketing and sales messages with the information needs and the top concerns and the buying triggers of your target audience, that's going to increase your chance of winning the lead and winning the deal. So here's how to use AI to generate quick marketing personas and use those for better results. Okay, I'm gonna choose an example. Let's say we're a social media marketing business, we're an agency, creative firm, and we are targeting nonprofits, specifically healthcare nonprofits, uh, those kind of on a mission, uh, those who are interested in like, uh, uh, you know, have fundraising goals and donors and volunteers. So here's where we'll begin. I'm just gonna to go to ChatGPT, and I'm gonna type in a simple prompt, sounds like this. Build a persona for a marketing director of a $10 million nonprofit in the Midwest US with a mission to provide better access to healthcare resources in underserved communities. The goals of this person is to create more effective fundraising campaigns through digital marketing, also to promote their events. Include specific details about goals, pain points, and decision criteria for selecting a social media marketing company. Okay, here's what we got. Taylor Rodriguez, background. Interesting, useful, looks pretty accurate. Goals, yep, that aligns quite well. Pain points, nothing surprising here. These are uh, pretty straightforward. And then decision criteria for selecting a social media marketing company. Obviously, ChatGPT ingested a whole bunch of the internet and uh, has, is using kind of general information across lots of sources to come up with something that is quite general, but also, um, interesting and could be useful for us in confirming at least that we have kind of hit all these notes in our marketing and, and our other messages. Okay, now let's go deeper with this. I'm going to add to this persona because you should never expect a single prompt <laughs> to the AI to give you amazing results. Uh, it, it's a We're training this like a human intelligence. You can't uh, expect like one simple uh, command or request to give you an amazing result. So we're gonna to continue to work on it. I'm gonna go a little deeper. Here's what it looks like. Let's start with just a general question. What keeps you up at night, Taylor? As the marketing director, I have several concerns. Fundraising targets, of course. Budget limitations, makes sense. Community impact, volunteer recruitment. The efficacy of our marketing, constant change, sustainability. Ah, that's helpful. It's We're flushing this out. I can now add that to the persona. Let's go a little bit deeper. Language, very useful. What words does Taylor use to describe his marketing challenges and solutions? This actually kind of surprised me. With a background in public health, he's gonna use a lot of uh, terminology that I might not have expected. Resource optimization, audience engagement, digital footprint, donor conversion. How does he, those are these issues, right? How does he describe the, the solutions that handle those issues? Strategic partnerships, targeted messaging, storytelling, impact metrics. These are not necessarily the words that I would have used if I were just targeting this person without having done this research. So here you see the value of the personas. This was all very fast, it costs virtually nothing. This is uh, potentially insightful because I can go back now and confirm that I'm using the language that my audience would use, right? Confirming, of course, with my real world experience and offline conversations with people like my synthetic persona here, Taylor. Okay, now to understand maybe the top of the funnel, what this person reads, uh, I'm gonna use a different tool, one that can crawl the web. At the time of this recording, ChatGPT doesn't really crawl the web. So now let's jump over to Bing, which actually has ChatGPT4 plus web browsing. Let's see, let's ask it some questions about sources that Taylor might use to get, uh, to, uh, to get his information to do a better job. Here we are in Bing. Of course, this is a different chat, so it doesn't know all the stuff that we just talked about. So I have to kind of start from scratch a little bit and tell it more about who this person is. Here's my prompt. If you were a marketing director for a nonprofit organization in the Midwest with a mission to bring healthcare services to underserved communities, what resources would you go to to get information to help you be more effective at your job? You can see why I need a, an AI here that can crawl the web because it's gonna come back with things that are current and things that are online and uh, you know new resources not just the historic pre-September 2021 data that ChatGPT uses. Okay, here we go. As a marketing director of a nonprofit in the Midwest on a mission to bring healthcare, there's several resources. It suggests conferences, interesting, networking opportunities, specific events, the nonprofit summit for Salesforce, uh, some uh, courses, stuff I hadn't thought of, a website called DonorBox, never heard of it. So now let's go deeper. I'm gonna ask a subsequent question. 
which sessions from the Salesforce Nonprofit Summit would be especially relevant to our marketing director? It actually has some really interesting ideas here, including one that's about planned giving, how to win at planned giving. That actually wasn't on my radar until just now, so <laughs> I can imagine how uh, I may need to address that. This sounds like it's a, uh, an important issue. It was kind of uh, curated by an event uh, coordinator at one time. Uh, so uh, let's continue to do a tiny bit of research and we can add this to our persona. Hey, which articles on that other website, DonorBox, are relevant to planned giving? Aha, it's giving me some top articles on a top resource. This is empathy. This helps me know what Taylor might be exposed to. These are resources that are very relevant to a person in that role in that kind of organization. Let's keep going. What are the highest rated podcasts that talk about fundraising? Boom, 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 a giant list of of podcasts. These are things that I might look at, see what topics they've addressed, see which of those episodes had the most engagement. Now I'm getting insights into maybe the uh, you know content research and topics and content strategies so that I can better target this person earlier in the decision process, uh, become relevant and visible to Taylor uh, prior to him even looking for a social media marketing company. But more important than that, I'm going to do sales and uh, marketing and sales alignment now by you know, going back to ChatGPT and asking it some questions about how Taylor decides to spend money, how Taylor decides to hire a company. I'm gonna use my persona to kind of role play a little bit, like to get insights about uh, who's involved in the decision-making process and what's the team like. Here we are back in ChatGPT. By the way, I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna come back to this, and I'm gonna keep uh, talking to this persona anytime I want <laughs> when I have any questions about uh, generating content or uh, you know trying to better understand this audience right so uh, I'm trying to align my services with their needs let's ask this question which marketing functions I'm selling marketing services are you most likely to outsource very interesting it says that it's uh, this person is likely to outsource those things that require specialized skill maybe they're time intensive or they're not needed on a continuous basis quite accurate I could imagine how these things would be uh, the types of things in a conference room at that company where they'd say, let's get some outside help. Now, when I asked it who's involved in the decision-making process, I got some pretty general answers, so I wanted to narrow it down. This prompt was more useful to me. Who are the two people on this team that have the strongest influence over the decision-making process? The answers were the marketing manager, maybe one of this person's direct reports, and the finance director. Wow, did my content really get into budget to get into impact, get into the metrics and how they align with financial goals such as you know donor engagement and fundraising and planned giving? If not, I think I really need to kind of make sure that all of my collateral web pages, you know, ebooks and guides and all that stuff addresses that uh, that bottom line concern. But what are the triggers? Why does Taylor even look for this stuff? This is a great question to ask and a really important part of any persona is to know what the what the moment of truth was, the zero moment of truth. Remember, there's a true story in the life of every prospect looking for every service. What did, Where did that story begin? When we know the origin of that story, we have a better chance to kind of write the ending. So let's ask this. What kinds of things happen that make Taylor realize that he needs help from a marketing company? Ah, I'm getting now to the benefit, almost the emotional connection. Like this is what the, the feeling would be if we were to solve the problem. The team is overwhelmed. They're, they're outgunned. They've got limited experience. There may be lack of results. That could be frustrating, right? Limited reach. Uh, there's something big coming up, right? This is like urgency. There's a major event coming up. So this all aligns with the kind, I can imagine creating content that triggers the emotions that align with that, that, that zero moment of truth when Taylor first realized he needed help. Very useful. And I can just keep going. Listen to this prompt. How much information and what information about a possible marketing agency would Taylor need before contacting that agency about a potential project? In other words, how much, what's the size and weight of the total amount of marketing content do I need to create for this addressable market to get them to you know, feel confident and to, and to get alignment and to get them over that psychological hump where they're willing to take an action and fill out the contact form? The answer, general but still useful expertise, nonprofit experience and specific industry experience, the previous work, social proof, we've got case studies and testimonials, right? Results, the, the values and culture not to be missed, right? We should maybe sh make sure to, to, to kind of hit on that note throughout our messaging everywhere from the pitch and proposal to the first piece of collateral. Next, I'm gonna do something that I do by hand. I enjoy doing by hand. Uh, I, I think it's part of the art of marketing. Uh, but we can still use AI to give us a head start. I'm going to use it to create some content, or at least to create a draft of content, or to trigger some ideas. 
You could use this to create a web page or email campaigns or social posts. I'm not advocating the use of AI to kind of replace us in our jobs. I'm using this to kind of like give me, uh, to make me more efficient. If this can save me 15% of my time, I call that a win. Uh, I'd likely, uh, you're gonna see big gaps in what I'm about to create here, but it all starts with a simple prompt and it's a very powerful form of empathy built on everything we've done already. I'm in the same chat, so the AI knows what we've talked about so far. Ready? Using the words that Taylor would use to describe his challenges and solutions, write a web page promoting a, our services, social media marketing services for his organization, a healthcare focused nonprofit, working on that specific need, planned giving campaigns. And finally, highlight the specific information that Taylor needs to know about an agency before hiring one. See, I've got the audience, I've got the, the, the trigger, I've got the language, I've got the, the, the need and the offer, combined, you know, these things put together. And I want it all to be crafted in a way that aligns with his decision-making criteria for how to decide who to hire. Uh, and here's the page. It's okay. It's a start. It lacks formatting. It lacks evidence. It lacks imagery. Uh, it lacks keyword focus. Uh, it, it lacks the, the voice and tone of our brand. But uh, it's a structure and it's a, it's a start on copy that uh, I have some confidence based on some data and research that aligns well with my audience. Another idea, instead of writing a new page, you can give the AI an existing page and ask if there's anything that you missed. So I just looked around and found a web page about social media marketing for nonprofits, went back to the AI and asked the question, which of this person's top concerns are not addressed on this web page to do some turbo gap analysis copy and paste in the text, and then down below I'm getting the response. While that web page addresses a number of the concerns related to nonprofit marketing, here are some that were not explicitly addressed. Not surprising because that page wasn't really meant for this person anyway, but this makes the point. The industry focus, the planned giving, the specific service, uh, relevant experience, the values wasn't mentioned on that page, the use of data to make decisions wasn't mentioned on that page. Um, anything about those, the the specific pain points, the pricing. So you can start to see how uh, I can use this persona to kind of battle test a piece of copy, in this case, conversion copywriting on its commercial intent uh, sales page um, to see if it aligns with the actual needs of this audience. That was fun, but not our real audience. Nice supplemental, but probably we should still go verify. We should still talk to our actual uh, stakeholders and interview customers and validate that we're on the right track. But still, wow, very accessible. I could go talk to that persona day or night. It's inexhaustible. I don't have to worry about crafting the perfect question or setting up a time to talk. I can just chat with it anytime. So there's obviously some utility in using an AI-driven marketing persona. We hope this was helpful. Uh, keep an eye on this space for more videos and, and articles uh, on relevant topics. And if you know anybody who's interested in this or would get value or are struggling to get a basic level of empathy over their audience, feel free to pass this along. Thanks for watching. Again, Andy from Orbit Media. See you next time.